Hey Deckers, if you're looking to play Sniper Elite 5 on the Steam Deck, then I have some good news for you, but make sure you watch out for your explosion distance. It's a bit further than you think. Huge thanks to Rebellion for giving me a key so I could test this one out and working with me on some of the issues that I had around multiplayer. So I do have a bit of a warning for you when it comes to that. So bear with me. Settings wise, I did find that running this on slightly custom from the medium settings was best leaving pretty much everything at medium with texture detail at ultra and even ambient occlusion on. In the single player, this performs perfectly well. It doesn't hold a perfect 60 frames per second, but it's not one of those games that you really need it to be up there all the time. And although we get a few lag spikes here and there, it does stay up in the 50s and 60s for the most part. However, it will be drawing 28 watts, and I do recommend as I go into the multiplayer section, reducing those settings slightly, turn the ambient occlusion off and bring the texture detail down to high. And that will eke out the settings a fair amount more. As you can see though, performance is fantastic in the single player. When we go over to the multiplayer though, there is a bit of an issue. If you mess around with your settings too much on the protons, you will get a de nouveau warning. So be warned of that one. And if you do go into the multiplayer and you see this error around the anti-cheat blocking you from online play and you have the easy anti-cheat proton runtime library installed locally, it's probably because you've installed it on the SD card and there is a path problem that they are now aware of. Now, hopefully they will fix this before you guys get to this, but if not, then you will need to run Sniper Elite 5 off of your SSD if you want to play online. Now I tweaked settings for online, which made quite a difference, was to turn that ambient occlusion off and turn tessellation actually on with the reflection detail down to medium, with texture detail down to high and reflection detail down to low. This gave a much more stable frame rate in the multiplayer scenarios, especially with a lot more stuff going on and having great time with the Axis Invasion. This is one of my favorite modes. If single players have this turned on, it is great fun to go and try and disrupt play. And it really adds an extra ability to your single player playthrough where you suddenly have to dodge a enemy sniper who is actually another player in your game before you complete your mission. So as you saw there, holding around 60 frames per second perfectly with those adjusted settings in the Axis Invasion. And when all hell breaks loose in a multiplayer team shooter, where you're gonna get shot quite a lot if you're out in the open, you can see that we're actually down to 27 watts on the battery, and it is pushing our fan around the six and a half thousand RPM range, so we're not maxing it out, and we're getting between 50 and 60 frames per second. So obviously a lot more rendering going on in the multiplayer, with the team battle and still holding 50 to 60 frames per second quite happily. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into Sniper Elite 5. This is a fantastic game on the Steam Deck and we'll see you in the next one.